Hey, Desmond Du here. Today we're going to create a simple drifting motion effect using expressions and we're going to save it out as an animation preset which we can reuse it for future animation projects. Let's begin. So the expression we're going to use today is very simple. It's just called time. In this composition, I have a text layer uh, and I'm going to go to stopwatch and put in an expression called time. And uh, as you can see, as I scrub through the timeline, it's giving me a numeric value. Um, and uh, right now there's a lot of decimal values right here. So I'm going to add uh, one more, just going to add one more expression or add on to this expression to fix bracket two. All right, this is just going to limit the decimal value. So I, as you can see, as time goes, value increases. So this is the expression we're going to use today. All right, so let's create a new composition, command N. We're going to create, uh, rename it to drifter and 24 frames per second, click OK, create a new solid, command Y, and we can call it shape. OK, press P to get a position, hold down option, and click on the stopwatch. We're going to create two variables, uh, the speed of the, of the drift, which is called velocity, or VEL for short, with VEL equals to 50, and the drift equals to time times VEL. And we're going to type value plus drift and see what happens. And we're going to click play. It's drifting in X axis. So this drifting motion is already working. And then if I were to grab it and put it somewhere else, you know, it's still going to drift. So there's no keyframe at all. So this is very useful if we want perpetual motion. Uh, however, if we want it to be in a Y axis, we have to make changes to this line of expression. Uh, remember, the position is an array that takes two values, the x and the y. So right now, it's just feeding it into the x value. We have to, if we want it to be in the y-axis, we have to type in, we create an array. So square bracket, 0, comma drift. And then we're going to get rid of the, the drift at the back. And let me put it in the middle so we can see. And now it's drifting in the y-axis. And if I wanted to be faster, I could increase the value here to 100, and it's going to be faster. So this is all working now, but it's very uh, inconvenient to always change, open up the position expression and change the values. I want to have a setup where I can just change it dynamically. That's where slider controls come in. Okay, so we're going to go to our effects and preset panel, and we're going to type in slider, and then we can double click on it. We're going to call this VEL. We also want controls uh, to whether drift in the X or the Y axis if, if the checkbox is turned on. So in the effects and preset panel, type in checker box. All right. And then click on, double click on it. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to name the first one X and the second one Y. So if so, our setup is going to be if this if this checkbox is turned on, drift in that axis. All right, we're going to make use of an if statement. Before that, let's connect our velocity to the slider control. So let's double click on that hundred value and then pick width to that slider control. Okay, and right now the value is at zero. Uh, we will change that later. Okay, so we're going to write a, a two if statement. It's very simple. So we're going to type in if bracket. We're going to select the checker box x. We're going to type in two equal signs to one. This is a logical operator to make sure that to tell off the effects that if this checkbox is equals to one, we have to use these two um, equal signs. Uh, curly bracket x is equals to drift, and then close curly bracket else x is equals to zero we have to get tell after effects if um if there's if it's not if the checkbox isn't checked uh what is the value so this statement is very important semicolon we're going to copy this whole thing and then command v to paste it and we're going to change x to y for this line so y is equals to drift and y is equals to zero for the else statement and we're just going to change this, uh, this, uh, this values into our variable, which is x and y. Click outside, and then nothing's happening. First of all, let's increase our velocity to 50. And let's click on our x checkbox and see if it works. Play it. 
Oops, I didn't check it. All right, if I scrub it, it's drifting. Cool, it's working. And let's try Y. And it's working as well. It's drifting in both axes. Let me turn on turn off X so we can just drift in the Y axis. And if you just want to go in the reverse direction, you can just change the velocity to a negative value. Um, and then it will be going up instead of down for our Y axis. All right, so we're done with the tutorial now. Uh, we just need to save it out as an, uh, this expression or this setup that we made as an animation preset. So let's save this out as an animation preset. Let's go to our effects panel and select all our uh, the effects slider controls we created, Command A. And we also need to select the position parameter because it has all the expression attached to it. Go to animation, save animation preset and give it a name. So I'm going to name it drifter underscore demo. Click return. I mean, click enter and I have one existing already. I'm going to override it, create a new solid. And then I'm going to apply that uh, animation preset. Or I could go to the recent animation preset. Uh, it's our latest preset will be will be over here. Click on it and you can see it has attached all our slide control. And if we select our layer and hit double E, we can see our expression which is the same as the one we made. Play it back, and it's dripping the y-axis. Maybe for this uh, solid layer, I can just drip in the x-axis. And that's how you create a simple drifting motion effect and save it out as an animation preset. And we're done. I hope you learned something today, and thank you for watching my tutorial. See you next time. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Please visit my website at docs.nosleepcreative.com for my curated list of expression that you can use for your projects.